Hello everyone, welcome to this, uh, uh, somewhat, um, what is it called, uh, makeshift video, uh, this is just a little update, first of all, uh, my glasses are now broken, so, uh, this, it's gonna be really hard to make videos, uh, cause at a certain distance, I just can't see, I, I can see up close, I just can't see from far, uh, I can barely see the Acer logo on my Spire 1800. But the other part of this video was to show you my retro gaming setup. But I'm not going to start with the laptop itself. Also, I got a new iMac, which I'm editing videos on. I just moved this aside because I'm going to relocate this. Um, I don't have a desk for this yet. This doesn't fit on my main desk because there is now a my main gaming rig taking up all of it. So uh, I have to get another desk probably and reorganize my room even though I already did that, but that's something I have to do. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, something we'll get to, get to in a minute. Also, I'd love to introduce you to my dog. Come here. Sit. This is my dog. Her name is Lula. She's very cute and a good girl. And uh, anyway, um, some games. Uh, a, lot, uh, none of, n a lot of people on my Discord server have been asking like what kind of games I have, so I kind of want to show you guys that. Um, for As a PC, I don't have too much x86 related, uh, but I do have this game. Uh, see if I can focus the camera. I have this game and this game. Morrowind is a really good one. I picked those up. They have the product key and everything. It's from a store called The Exchange. They sell games at low prices and they're usually always well stocked. So you can find most games that you want there. Currently they have a bit of a shortage of game consoles, but when it comes to new consoles, the ones that get in the most are Switches, uh, as usual. Um, I have a ton of console games uh, for the newer consoles in this section. All the old cartridges are mostly upstairs. Uh, although my Sega Genesis cleaning system is still in here. Uh, you know what this is, this is a Wii Wheel, uh, stupid, um, I have a few other things in here, uh, Super Nintendo games, Atari 2600 games, uh, and some Texas Instruments, uh, TI 994A games, cause, yeah, they came with the system I got, um, uh, here's the Art Alive, a game I never play cause it, eh, I just, I don't like it, uh, Fallout 3, that's just a, um, not really a DLC, more like a physical, um, expansion pack uh for fallout 3 not the game itself uh although it have quite a few computers i could play it on uh, uh most of my xbox games are here although there's one 360 game here and uh there's some others behind the intellivision games uh these are just the uh boxed intellivision games uh the ones without the boxes are upstairs with the intellivision case uh, uh so another game i don't play it was actually gift though so uh, Sonic Generations and uh, Madden, my dad plays that. Uh, up here is my Toshiba Satellite P25. I still use this to watch movies from time to time, but my Acer Spire 1800 is kind of replacing it. Um, although I have no plans to sell this, this is still a very nice piece besides that crack, but whatever. Um, underneath here, just old CDs from the early 2000s, late 90s. Uh, Hand-me-downs, of course. I have two Wii remotes now, so I can actually play with another person. Um, Star Wars uh, Battlefront, I have that too, although it takes a while to install, so I, I won't be using that for videos. I'll probably be using these games since they're quick to set up. Um, i got to put this back up here. Yeah. Um, nothing too crazy here, but... Uh, I want to also show you guys my living room setup and move the dog's bed. Um, this is my uh, living room PC. I use this to watch YouTube videos most of the time. This is an HP uh, HP Media Center M8300F. Um, this thing is mostly stock, except I have replaced the GPU with a more powerful one that it still supports. And I have not repasted it, and I have not replaced the hard drive with an SSD just yet, although I really plan on doing that. Um, Xbox 360, Wii. Uh, I have an Atari uh, 2600 in here, but it's not hooked up at the moment. It hasn't been hooked up in a long time. Jurassic Park on LaserDisc and a bunch of random DVDs. Most of them are pretty old at this point, but anyway... 
back to what was it called oh yeah the laptop this thing is my current retro gaming setup i mostly play emulators and early 2000s x86 games on this thing i don't really play modern games too often although i work on roblox as a developer and stuff not working for roblox i'm just a developer on there uh this thing is a microsoft ergonomic keyboard it's not the one that you associate with i think this is a later model or a more budget oriented model i have this hooked up to a dell mouse and a standard hp 120 watt charger which it's compatible with uh this thing is my uh I got a second 1800 now, uh, which is weird. I just did it as an impulse buy, but it's upstairs. It's in better condition than this, so I'm using this one as kind of my beater, although I did um, lubricate the hinges and repaste it, even though it didn't really need repasting. And it, it just it's the best cooling Pentium 4 laptop that I have. It's really good. It's very, very good at cooling. Um, I have this currently installed with Windows XP. Let me actually open this up maybe. Apologize for the angle. I don't have my tripod with me. I apologize about that. Uh, let me actually turn this on for a brief moment. Mm. Yeah, uh, I dimmed the screen. It actually displays pretty bright, but I purposely dimmed it so it wouldn't give me eye strain when I play this at night. So I just dimmed it. So don't don't be worried about that too much. Uh. Optical drive, for some reason, doesn't work on the Windows operating system. Sorry, I had to adjust it again so I can see it. Uh, the optical drive only ejects and functions uh, on post and on BIOS. I don't know why it doesn't work on Windows. I think I'll just try to install a driver, a DVD RAM driver from Acer's website, see if that does anything. But, uh, yeah, maybe it's not a... I don't know. Fan just kicked in. Uh, I didn't really care about fan sound as long as they get the work done. Uh, yeah, my unit is working. Uh, oh, wait, I, I don't want to touch it. Remember, that's why I have these hooked up. I can barely see that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so uh, I don't have too much stuff installed on here just yet. I do have some N64 games like Mario 64. I can demonstrate that real quick. Project 64. Please support Project 64. They are really good. Uh, it's a really good emulator. It has a good team behind it. Let's see which one's Super Mario 64? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, you can see just how good it can run these in a second. You can press escape to full screen on Project 64. Yes, Project 64 does work on Windows XP. Uh, I play this with a keyboard. It's a weird way to play the game, but it's really good. I'm used to it. But yeah, that's uh, it can play the whole game just fine. Uh, there's that. Remember, I'm sorry about the uh, shaky camera, but I don't have my tripod on me right now. Nor am I using my uh, special camera that I got. This is just my phone, because uh, the camera's upstairs charging in, plus I gotta remove some footage from there. But yeah, this is my Aspire 1800. A review will be coming up on it uh, hopefully soon. Um, it's really one of the best computers I own. If not the best. Very reliable. Good GPU, good performance. Oh, no overheating. I just touched the back by the copper um, vents. It's not warm at all. And that, um, then again, though, keep in mind I just turned this on for like, I don't know, three minutes or five. Uh, but even though I use this thing for usually about two hours a day, on days that I use it, of course, uh, this thing does still cool really well. It does not overheat. It's one hell of a system. But yes, that is my setup reveal. I wanted to show you my living room because there's some stuff I probably can't review too easily, especially that HP desktop. It's going to be hard to review that. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.